is a journey. What does that mean? What does that saying mean to you? When you first read it, it's almost like it's a journey. There's a beginning and an end. We see this statement on cups, magnets, posters, but what does it really mean? And I first got a plaque from my girlfriend Annie. She's a, one of my good friends, little words, she doesn't say much. She gave me this plaque, and that's all it said. And she gave it to me at a time over 10 years ago where I was a pretty low time in my life. I had my ups and downs in my life. I was with this guy for the last 10 years, and you know, you were gonna get married. Then he decides one day, you're not the one, right? But Annie, she gave me this plaque, it said, Amy, life is a journey. But it didn't have a definition. Like to me, it was like, thanks a lot, Annie. What does that mean? <laughs> you know, it didn't say anything. Um, but over time, um, I've I've come to define what that means to me. And I, to me, you have to take time to capture those moments. <clears throat> of life experiences that make it matter for you for the rest of the journey. But again, if you just look at the statement itself, it almost seems like an incomplete statement. And I think in a way, it's purposely like that. Because I think it's up to you to define what does that mean to you. What is the life experiences that you want to take? And what do you want to take from that to be a better person for the rest of the journey? To me, it's like taking snapshots of your life. For example, um, we got together in this room in the last two days and I've crossed paths with people I would never cross paths with. And um, I'm gonna take you through some examples of how I've taken snapshots. Um, Lynn, uh, Lynn has shown me and encouraged me that you can come out stronger. She shared personal stories and she showed me you can come out stronger and you can help others. To me, that showed me a snapshot of someone with heart. Teresa and Denise, you guys have a company that helps people communicate. Is that, let's better communicate. But yet you come to <coughs> this course to go, I want to be even a better communicator. So to me, it showed me that you strive. You strive to be better. This is a mountain. And you want to reach up here. <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> Um, Danielle, Danielle and Erin, you have a tough audience at your work, but you said, no, I don't want to give up, right? I'm coming to this course and I want to be better, right? That showed me, I went, wow, like these are women who want to be at the top of their game. They're like, yay. <laughs> really good. Um, Willie. Willie works at BC Housing, and actually, I've never met Willie. I actually just met him yesterday. And I said to him, Willie, you know, I've never met you, but I just wanted to say thanks for your story. And, and why? It's because Gorka and I work in development services, and we just build the housing, the H, right? But he works frontline, and he put heart and feeling into it. And I said, it's really great to hear that because Gorka and I are always just busy trying to construct the building, but he's filling it with real people, real stories, real lives. Mm -hmm. So actually, I just met Willie for the first time. Um, also, um, Tasha and Margaret, you, um, oh, I forgot to draw an image for you. I should do that. That's not fair, <laughs> right? 
Um, but there was something that Willie said yesterday that was really powerful. He said, I do not judge. I took that away as, I'm trying to draw a gap here. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sort of, yeah. He said, I don't judge. And I thought, yeah, I want that. I want to take a snapshot of that. Don't judge. Um, Margaret and Tasha, they exposed me to um, horses. I would never hear any stories about horses. <laughs> I really wouldn't. But they t they shared with us, um, you know, how you raise them and their personalities and how you you know ride them and you know as a rider your experience as a writer, you know what do you put in your books and you two showed me passion like like oh, you really talked fun. about it like yes you know like <laughs> it's horses are in my blood like I love this it makes me smile. You know, um, Gorka. I actually didn't know Gorka was coming to this course until I saw him yesterday. We work in the same department, but um, so I was like, "Hey, Gorka." Um, but because we've come to this course together, I think him and I have created a bond. Because now we'll have this common ground about, "Hey, remember that time we went to release the voice, your voice seminar and course and." We'll like start saying to you, do you, do you have your intent? You know, <laughs> you know, do you have your closing? <laughs> Did you make sure that all the colors were in your presentation? So we'll have that common lingo now and that bond to share. Um, Sandra. Uh, Sandra's presentation yesterday really, really opened my eyes on the next journey that I'm going to embark, which is for oh, children. Yeah. And I love the fact that you put. Um, that you put humor into it and and said, you know, it's going to be stressful, but it's really great because they're really precious you know, things. So to me, I went, thank you, because that's family, right? It's scary for me. I'm scared. But she gave me a little glimpse of, it's okay. You'll be okay. So life as we all know, is um, very hectic, right? We're running from meeting to meeting, we're doing one assignment to another, we're catching one plane to another. But all I ask is, I encourage you, when you have those moments, just take a moment and grab those life experiences and just take those snapshots. Just take a moment and you define what your life journey will be. Oh.